Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. To go find and go back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Vani Lungu, and on this uh, channel, we post reaction videos. So if there's something you guys want us to react to, drop the link or the title of the suggestion down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to anything and everything. Uh, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Funny and Jesse. You can check out our second channel, Mon um, Funny and Jesse to go in all. Check out my blog, uh, Morning Coffee with Funny, and just enjoy the content that I put out there, that we put out there. And yeah, thank you for 19,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. I hope you're doing alright, and may you stay blessed. For newcomers, please subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, and stay tuned. So today I'm going to be reacting to a Japanese girl cursing the Prophet Muhammad and Dr. Zaki Naik response to her. See how he answered. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. To ask you this question, you know, you, you Muslims believe that the um, Muhammad night journey to Jerusalem overnight, and so it is a blatant lie, and uh, it's apparent, and he lied to his people, and also the, to the people in those uh, those days, and the Kurdish people also criticized him for lying, telling such a lie. And then Muhammad said, and so he did it in the overnight. But people still can believe you, in the you line. Can you, yeah, can you, do, you, do you believe in that, you know? Just because of the line, we have so many issues in, in that area. Why do you Muslims believe in such a blatant lie, you know, told by the mosque in the Muhammad? It is very clear that he couldn't travel to the Jerusalem overnight. Ah, you ask me a question that why are the Muslims telling a blatant lie that Prophet Muhammad traveled to Jerusalem overnight? That's the question. Why do Muslims believe in the Muhammad's lie? If Muhammad is the best example of the humankind, should the Muslims then lie according to him? Sister, are you a Christian? No, I'm a free thinker. Free thinker. Okay, fine. You know, the Bible says that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. <laughs> Prophet Moses parted the sea. I'm sorry, I don't believe in the Bible either, you know, so you, you cannot no, convince me with I'm those in a fairy answer. tale. I have not finished my answer, sister. Let me finish the answer and then you can say. We believe that the prophets of Almighty God did miracles. So when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it's called as night journey. He traveled from Makkah to the furthest mosque, that is Jerusalem. You saying, why do we believe in a lie? This is a miracle. You are a free thinker. I'm not a free thinker. I'm a Muslim. That's the difference between you and me. Why I'm a Muslim? You should have come to my talk yesterday where I prove the existence of God. You are a free thinker who does not believe in God, correct? That's right. Yesterday my topic was, does God exist? I don't intend giving the full talk here. It's a one and a half hour talk. So if you would have come yesterday, by now, you would have been convinced that there is God and you would have been convinced that this Quran is the word of God. Now your question, is it possible for someone to travel from Makkah to Jerusalem overnight? Even you can do it, even I can do it, by plane. So, it is, you can travel, at that time the plane wasn't there. He traveled from Makkah to, to Jerusalem, it's a miracle. There are many miracles mentioned in the Quran. For example, Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea, it's a miracle. Moses, peace be upon him, threw the staff and became into a say, miracle. What is a miracle? A miracle is something which cannot be proved scientifically and logically. Miracle is beyond the capacity of a normal human being. So if a normal human being something he does, 
which is not possible to prove logically or scientifically, it's called a miracle. If I can prove logically, it's not a miracle. Today, if I say I traveled from Makkah to Jerusalem in one night, it's not a miracle. Even you can do it, even I can do it. At that time, when Prophet traveled, yes, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. So what we have to realize that these are prophets of God. God is the creator of the universe of the human beings. And God Almighty chooses a man amongst men to communicate his message with the other human beings. And this chosen men of Almighty God we call as prophets and messengers of God. So as I said in my lecture, Almighty God has sent several messengers. By name 25 are mentioned in the Quran. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a miracle. For example, this Quran. Yesterday I gave a talk, does God exist? And I prove that this Quran has got more than 6,000 verses, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. What we came to recently about the Big Bang, about the shape of the, the fairy tale, light of the moon is reflected, the sun is rotating, which I did not know in school. All these things are mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago. Scientifically, no one can explain how can this book mention 1400 years back about the Big Bang, which we came to know just 35, 40 years back. It's a miracle. How, how, how did we come to know 14 years back that the shape of the earth is geospherical? Miracle. When I was in school, I learned that the sun is stationary, did not rotate about the axis. The Quran said that 40 years ago. How is it possible? It's a miracle. So with this, I go to prove about embryology, about botany, about biology. All scientific things that we came to know recently, 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back, 300 years back, is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Who could have mentioned this? It is the Creator, who we call as Almighty God. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going from Makkah to Medina, <laughs> sorry, Makkah to the furthest mosque, Jerusalem, it's a miracle. And this is proving that he is a prophet of God. You and I cannot do miracles. The prophet of God, mirac miracles are done by Almighty God through the prophet of God. Hope that answers the question. Uh, okay, thank you very much. But uh, if the, your God isn't so great, you know, why didn't you turn the whole world into the Islamic nation? And why didn't you, you just snap the fingers and tell the world and you know, turn it into Muslims, you know? Then you don't have to fight. Sister has asked a very good question. People. Ask a short question. Sisters ask a very good question. Why didn't your God turn everyone into Islamic nation by snapping? This reply is given in the Quran. God knew you were going to ask this question. I don't think so. Then how is the reply already mentioned in advance? That well, is logic. It's a coincidence. Not quite many people ask before you. So God knew you were going to ask and God knew others are going to ask. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99, that if Almighty God wanted, He could have made all the people in the earth as Muslims. But why do you, that's the reason, don't force anyone to believe without their free will. Because of the Quran. Because Almighty God has created various creation. All the other creation of God, besides human being and jinn, they have no free will of their own. If all would have become what God wanted, then there have been angels. Angels have no will of their own. Whatever God says, they follow. That's a different creation. Almighty God created a different creation, the human beings, which has the free will to obey or disobey God. If God made all of us obey Him, then we would be like the angels. Then where is the test? So Almighty God created this special creation called as human beings, which have the ability to go against God or follow God. This is the test. For example, when, when a teacher teaches the students, the students appear for an examination. If the student has the textbook with them and then write directly from the textbook, then where is the test? The test is whether do they remember, do they follow the teaching of the teacher or not. So this life is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Al-Ladi khalaq al wal hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you, which of you is good indeed. 
This life we are undergoing, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Almighty God says in Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse 155, Surely we will test you with fear, or with hunger, or with loss of life, or with goods that we have earned. Almighty God says, your children, your wife, your wealth are a test for you. So all this is a test for us. This is the undergoing a test, sister. So what question you're going to ask? There are many things mentioned in the Quran. And Almighty God knows that certain people will question certain things. So that is the reason this we are undergoing is a test whether we follow the commandment of God or not. Hope that answers the question. Yes. But see the fact. No, no, see, so many Muslims are leaving. What we'll do, one question. Thank you, can you ask, very much. What you can do, sister, you can go behind the queue of the non-Muslims and wait for a third chance. Yes, you ask two oh. questions. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Thank you very much. Yes, there, 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 sister. Very, 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 very interesting video. Um, I'm trying to think. As much as she's a free thinker, I always find myself saying, if you find yourself asking about something, then you're interested in what that something is. So I'd love to believe she is interested in Islam or something and her calling it a lie I mean if that's what she believes then she is allowed to believe that but if she can sit down I'm sure with someone and they exchange ideas both parties involved in exchanging those ideas would learn from each other and about making everyone um, follow the religion of Islam I mean and then what I'm trying to think if that's how the world if that's how God would have created the world and then what I'd love for someone to think to help me understand what would have happened if that was the case but otherwise as far as I'm concerned I look at the different beliefs people have different religions people follow and say uh, God created us in such a way so that we can um, learn to coexist. That's just something that's there to challenge us to see how we act, whether we act out of character or we stay in character, whether we um, step on other people's legs, whether we help people, all that is just to see how we would live life I'd love to believe. And um, I think he tried to answer her in the best way that he could although I was wondering as uh, because some people would argue that yes it is possible to travel in one night but not physically and what I'm trying to say is that's what I'm saying if people if there's any of you guys that watch a lot of things out there that explain beyond religion or what people call theories that claim all sorts of things then you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about astral projecting. So what does Islam has have to say about astral projection? I'm not saying that's what happened with um, Muhammad, but I'm just saying some people would argue in that point, saying, you know what, this actually makes sense. Even though they don't believe in the religion, they'll say, maybe it was astral projecting. So what does Islam have to say about astral projecting? Is it a thing? Oh, that's not just thinking too much, thinking beyond what's actually what actually happened. Let me know what you guys think. Um, drop the links to the reactions that you want me to react to down below. Uh, yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.